Senator Babbitt. Uh, thank you, Acting Deputy President. Obviously, I rise in support of Senator Hanson's motion. It's an easy one to support, isn't it? Because the Prime Minister, Mr Albanese, he just keeps messing up over and over again. I, like obviously many other Australians at this point, have zero confidence in this Labor government. Zip, zilch, nada. Not even an ounce. Now, this Labor government, the Albanese Labor government, can't or won't control immigration. They have greenlit over a million people to come into this country, not because they are altruistic, but because it is a Ponzi scheme to prop up our GDP. How could they do this to us? This Albanese government, he can't or won't police our borders because the boats are back. The Albanese government can't or won't protect children from dangerous ideologies of all types, from climate alarmism to gender confusion and Marxism. This Labor government can't or won't hold a royal commission into the handling of the COVID response. They are trying to sweep it under the carpet. Nothing to see here. They won't even support my motion to investigate excess deaths or stand up for mandated workers. Well, Prime Minister, today I've got some good news. Queensland's mandatory COVID vaccine orders have been proven to be unlawful in the Supreme Court. And I'd like to thank Mr Clive Palmer, who bankrolled that action. First, it was a good day today for human rights, with the Queensland Supreme Court ruling that a vaccine mandate imposed upon police and healthcare workers was unlawful. The Supreme Court judge, Justice Martin, said, and I quote, I'm not satisfied that the police commissioner has demonstrated that she gave proper consideration to the human rights that may have been affected by her decisions. Gee, do you think forcing people to be injected with an experimental drug, the long-term consequences of which no one knows, on threat of losing your livelihood, does kind of sound like a breach of human rights. This class action was funded by Aussie legend Clive Palmer himself because your everyday ambos and police workers don't have the money, especially if they've been deprived of employment for quite some time, to fund this kind of legal action. So God bless Clive Palmer putting his money toward fighting this grave injustice. We now need more millionaires, mm. basically, to be funding these kinds of legal actions because the little people that these mandates crushed, even after we knew it wasn't safe or effective. Now, the Albanese government can't or won't solve the cost of living crisis, probably because its own reckless renewable energy policies is one of the key drivers of rising prices. Now, the only thing renewable about renewable energy is the cost. And the only thing green about green energy is the money. Now, I repeatedly say that the government can't or won't do this or do that because I'm still not sure whether this government's total ineptitude is due to incompetence or whether it is intentional. The Prime Minister, you know what, he shows more enthusiasm for Taylor Swift, or as he likes to call her, Tay-Tay, than he does for governing our nation. I'm calling to give you the news, which I reckon is pretty good news, that you have won tickets to Kate's Sweet Seats. You're off to Taylor Swift. Wow, you've got on Taylor. Fantastic. He wasted millions on a divisive and frankly, in my opinion, racist referendum that tried to divide us by colour. But don't worry, shake it off, right? It off, it off. He promised to lower energy prices, but and he promised to deliver us, and I know we keep saying this, $275 off of our power bills. Where is my power bill, Mr Prime Minister? Don't worry, shake it off. Shake it off, shake it off. He said that, and I quote, under our plan, no family will be worse off, but almost all families will be better off. Now, do you feel like you're better off for those playing at home? Because I don't feel like I'm better off. Don't worry, shake it off. 149 dangerous detainees released into the community. He shakes it off. He shakes it off just like the detainees have shaken off their government-supplied electronic monitoring bracelets. 
Rising cost of living, shake it off. He said, and I'll quote again, Labor has real lasting plans for cheaper mortgages. Well, guess what? Mortgages are through the roof. I've had 12 interest rate rises under this Labor government, and Australians are paying $24,000 per year extra on a $750,000 mortgage. He promised to make no changes to super. Guess what? He made changes to super. He promised not to touch franking credits. Well, guess what? He touched franking credits. You know what he can't shake off? He can't shake this off. His litany of failures, and they are mounting up for all to see. On Saturday, the Prime Minister made a special appearance at a private function where he joined a crowd of 200 political and business elites to live out their teenage dreams with none other than Katy Perry. Forget the bushfires destroying regional Victoria. Clearly, there is no better way to restore your image and relate to the common man than to spend your time hanging out with foreign pop stars and other elites. Fantastic. Now, Prime Minister, the Australian people are wide awake and come next election, I suspect and I expect that they will make their voices heard and they will shake off this government. And you know what? All of us here in this place, well, at least on one side of this chamber, and everyone playing at home, you will be better off for it. Thank you.